Hi, right, welcome back. Welcome to this four court film for this absolutely stunning Mercedes Benz A220. This is the AMG line with the premium package. I'll sort of talk you through some of the, uh, the, the different sort of options that you get uh, on the premium package. Um, the car itself has only done 8,500 miles. Uh, it's in exceptional condition all the way around. Um, the colour is denim blue, uh, which looks absolutely incredible in the um, in the sunlight, but then really, really changes in the shade. As you as you see, it's kind of perfectly placed here. Actually, it's, a, it's get it a lot darker when it's in the shade. Um, surprisingly enough, um, but uh, but the actual colour itself um, really changes. So um, yeah, it looks um, looks absolutely stunning in the um, in the sunlight. Really, uh, really nice colour. This one. Uh, as I mentioned, the condition of the of the bodywork, obviously the car, you know, having only done low mileage, uh, is pretty much uh, perfect. Um, I think the only thing that we've had to do, we've got one of the alloy wheels, um, which is actually due to be sent off tomorrow to be done. There's a tiny little graze just there, um, but that will be done. Um, so uh, the rest of the wheels are all completely unmarked. That one will be done, and um, and therefore the car will be absolutely perfect um, all the way through. The interior is absolutely immaculate, um, as we'll see in a second. Um, so it's a uh, very interesting the sort of model lineup that um, Mercedes have done. You have the A200s, uh, which are a 1.3 petrol engine. Uh, this is the A220. There's actually another three models that sit above this one the A250, uh, the A35, and the A45S. Uh, this is uh, under the bonnet on this car uh, is a two litre turbo petrol engine with about 189 horsepower. It's absolutely beautiful to drive, loads and loads of power. It's actually, it actually feels like it's, um, it's got more power than that. Um, and uh, a very, very smooth delivery. And um, yeah, a very, very impressive uh, car. It's the first time I've, I've driven one with this engine in and uh, was uh, massively impressed as well. Um, so as I mentioned, this is the AMG line premium pack. Um, so we have things like LED headlights here at the front. We also have um, front and rear parking sensors. It's also got pre-sense as well. You'll see the sensors up here just behind the rear view mirror. Um, and uh, that will, it's basically like an accident avoidance system. Um, I can confirm that it works on this car. Don't ask me why, um, but, uh, but it works and it works very, very well. Um, and uh, yeah, if a, if a car slows down um, and sort of stops in, in front of you in busy motorway traffic or something like that, the car will actually apply the brakes for you um, and save you from having um, a red face and, um, uh, and an accident mainly. Um, so yeah, very, very good system on there. Um, we've got these uh, beautiful AMG alloy wheels that obviously already pointed out. They are like a sort of um, dark grey colour and then diamond cut across the faces as well to get that really lovely sparkle. Um, round at the back we've got the twin exhaust outlets and then we've also got the rear diffuser there as well which, which sits down. But it's a really really good looking car. Um, the, the old A-Class was, um, was always very very popular but the, this new one, um, especially when you see on the inside, um, is a, a giant leap and, uh, and just a very very nice overall design. Um, just come around to the back and show you in the boot. It's all been protected beautifully by this Mercedes-Benz uh, semi-rigid uh, boot liner. Um, so everything's in, in absolutely immaculate condition. It's really kept the carpets and everything like that looking nice underneath. You've then got additional storage, first aid kits and uh, uh, flat tyre sort of um, pumps and all that kind of stuff in the back there. Uh, you've got this absolutely brilliant split in the middle so you can actually just put the centre section down should you want for things like skis or just for longer ob objects um, and then uh, each of the, uh, the seats fold down independently. Just close that up, through to the back, move this back out of the way. The leather in here is absolutely gorgeous. It's um, half leather and half Alcantara suede. Uh, we've got this wonderful red stitching that runs throughout the car um, on the door cappings and things like that as well. Again, absolutely beautiful condition. I don't think the back seats have ever been sat in. Uh, certainly no kick marks or, or uh, signs of any wear in the back there um, whatsoever. Again, a reminder that the car's only done 8,500 miles, so um, we shouldn't really be expecting anything um, untoward. Uh, we've got these wonderful single piece um, seats with the sort of integrated headrests. Uh, which uh, carried over from the, the previous model as well and it just it really kind of adds a bit of theatre to the in interior. I think it's a really really nice feature. Um, from memory, yes you do, you've still got um, LED lighting uh, that sits inside those headrests as well so at night time the car looks absolutely stunning and um, all the uh, ambient lighting and everything like that is completely configurable which is again very very nice. Um, we've got uh, power folding door mirrors um, we've also got keyless entry as well. So to open the car, simply just come up and put your hand on the door handle. As long as you've got the key in your pocket or in your bag or, or very, very close to the car, then it will, um, it will um, allow you to open the car just by pressing it on the door handle. And to lock the car, just press 
the button on the outside there as well. You'll see the mirrors um, will fold in as well as part of the sort of convenience package there as well. So that's all open. Uh, on the inside, you've got buttons for your power fold mirror, as well as obviously electric windows throughout and everything like that. Uh, we've also got the control there for the heated seats. Uh, both driver and passenger have, uh, have heated seats in the front. There is a three-stage um, system. And uh, so that's just uh, placed over on the door. And then the cabin itself, absolutely stunning. You've got a wonderful mix of materials in here. So you've obviously got the kind of um, the faux leather at the very, very top, um, where, where the sort of biggest touch points are going to be. And then um, you've got more Alcantara here on the doors with the red stitching and then just sort of nice tiny little sort of bits of the silver in there as well, um, which then carries across along the top of the dashboard. At night time again, all of this lights up and um, you've almost got like a waterfall effect of, of purple or blue or green light or whatever you want, um, but it does look absolutely stunning. I'll overlay an image of, of what it looks like at night just to give you an idea. There's also LED lights behind these um, quite impressive turbine style vents as well. Um, this car has the bigger, um, MBUX system as well, which I'm going to attempt to talk you through. It's uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to, um, but it's very, very good, uh, good um, in terms of uh, the amount of customization that you've got as well. Um, moving up here to the roof, and just again, all of the kind of the fit and finish of the buttons and the lighting and everything is really, really premium. It's got it's got a, a very, very premium feel. This car all the way throughout it. Uh, we've got dual zone climate control, so um, ind individual temperature settings for driver and passenger. Um, in here we also have um, a sliding uh, cup holder cover and storage area as well. That all just pulls across from there, all finished in this really nice piano black. There's no um, no marks or scratches or anything like that to those. Um, the only thing is just if you get a little bit of dust in here, it's, it's, uh, it shows up on, in the low sunlight. Um, the steering wheel. It's the new style Mercedes-Benz steering wheel. It's the um, flat bottom along the bottom here. And then you've got the controls here for the main system. And then this control here is for the um, the screen that we have up front here as well. Um, starting from the right and working our way across, um, electric electronic handbrake, and then we also have automatic headlights um, and then automatic windscreen wipers and everything like that as well. So let's start it up. And we'll see the main screen kick into life and nag me about my seatbelt, so we'll just say okay to that. And basically, you've obviously got your main, it's a, it's a, it's a full screen all the way across, as you can see. So it's, it's essentially two screens, but the way it's been designed um, with this wonderful one piece of glass that goes all the way across, um, it, and it just looks absolutely stunning again, especially um, at night, uh, looks very, very impressive indeed. Um, if we just kill the radio, um, by moving things along here, we can actually make changes to the um, to, to the menus, um, and you've got a, a number of different sort of settings for for the way that it's displayed, um, sports and classic and everything like that. But you can also put the um, the main sat nav map, which is um, really great, um, up up in front of you. So um, when the uh, passengers are sort of playing around with the radio settings, uh, the drivers always got the um, the map in front of them, which is a really nice feature. So a huge amount of, of, of things in there. It's going to be too difficult to sort of talk through um, at the same time, but um, I'm sort of overlaying some some different views that uh, that you can get and then across on the main screen um, this is all um, touchscreen as well so you get this wonderful setup here for things like the radio it's got all of the individual icons for the radio stations and everything like that so rather than just a sea of, of words it's, it's a really kind of interactive um, system uh, the other thing that you can do um, is use the Mercedes system in here all you have to do by that is say hey Mercedes how can I help Play BBC Radio 2. And straight away it comes back up from there. Um, and you can use it for a number of different things as well. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Please turn the driver's heated seat on. Seat heating for the driver is on. And anything else as well. Uh, hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Could you turn the temperature up please? I'm increasing the temperature on the driver's side to 22 degrees. Nice. So it's very, very good. Just turn my heated seat off now because it's quite warm today. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Um, and then you can you can shout out satellite navigation destinations and things like that, um, or just general things inside the car as well. Um, pull somebody's name out of your phone book or anything like that as well. So um, very, very impressive. And obviously you can have fun um, just basically testing it to see uh, see what it comes up. Um, 
So, other uh, things, obviously I've showed you the DAB digital radio, um, we've obviously got FM and AM stations as well for when you need those. Um, if we go through to the media section, um, you can uh, stream music uh, directly from your phone, you can also access things like Spotify um, and uh, podcasts and stuff like that, stream, stream all of that directly from your phone. Or also, this car is fitted with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. Um, again, there's, there's a number of different demonstrations for that. Um, online, so um, I won't go go through that now. But basically, it's um, fully compatible with, with all of that. So you can just plug your phone in and use it from there, and then you have access to things like Spotify on your screen as well. Um, we've obviously got the large um, full screen satellite navigation uh, that covers you for the whole of Western Europe. Um, you can either use this touchpad here, and you can see moving it around, um, or you can actually do it on the screen yourself. But of course, you do end up with um, fingerprints and stuff like that all over it. So. Um, by using the uh, the touchpad, it, it generally just keeps the screen a little bit cleaner. So that's all very impressive. Um, and then, of course, um, this is your sort of home page here. Um, you can go in and change all of your ambient lighting, um, the colours, the themes, the ev absolutely everything. Um, again, it's not probably not going to show across now because it's uh, it's too light in here. But basically, you can set all of that up. Um, and there's endless hours of fun for doing all of that. Um, this car has a reverse camera as well, so we just pop that into reverse, you'll see it's a, um, a really high definition camera. Um, and then you've also got all the guidance lines and everything, so you can see that moving when I move the, the steering wheel. And then you've got front and rear, and also side sensors um, on there as well um, for, 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 uh, for doing all of that. So that's all very cool. Um, what else have we got? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Obviously a full control panel and everything else like that is available um, on that main screen. Uh, but everything that you can think of, uh, this car has been equipped with. Uh, final options, things that you, you would normally expect to have on here. Obviously Bluetooth for your telephone, and we also have full um, cruise control as well, um, and uh, and speed limit and everything like that that you would expect on a Mercedes. But yeah, again, just looking around this cabin, it's just, as I mentioned, such a premium feel to it. All the touch points, all the buttons, all the 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 you know these grills and everything like that um it's a, a really really lovely place uh this the um steering wheel has got this wonderful soft leather on the top perforations to the side and then again red stitching all the way around to sort of tie in with the rest of it in fact i think we might just be able to see those lights starting to come through here on the door you've got the purple light there um that can even change like depending on your driving modes and things like that if you start driving fast it'll go go, go red um so yeah it looks very very cool indeed there you go there's the blue light coming up there so yeah very very nice indeed i hope you found this short video useful uh like i said absolutely beautiful car um in fantastic condition full mercedes service history all the way through um and uh, and really not a mark on it at all genuine low mileage uh, and ready to go. If we can help with any further information, if you have a part exchange to value or you require any finance figures, uh, this car qualifies for both uh, higher purchase and also PCP with a, with a balloon payment as well, um, then please do let us know through our website, which is jhjarvis.co.uk. We'd be more than happy to help answer any questions you may have. Uh, and ultimately, we'd love to show you the car in person and take you out for a test drive. Thank you very much again for watching, and we'll see you next time.